Rockin' with Rockin' Robbie. Oh, I God. am, of course, Rockin' Robbie. Oh and here God. with me, as usual, my illustrious co host, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, here is Jumpin' and Jivin' James. Yes, he's jumpin'. Hey guys, how's it going? Jim. Also with me, we have Delicious Ding. Yes, yes. yes. Ding. Oh, yes. Delicious Ding. So good. I'm ready for some... And always my ever-faithful companion, Kinky Kevin. That's me. That's me. I'm here. A little kinky. And last but certainly never least, it's Maniacal Mike. Maniacal. All right. Well, we are all here. nothing. Absolutely nothing. Fuck you all. We are all here live in Huntsville. We are all here live in Huntsville Attic, of course. Thank you for joining us once again. It's hot. Uh, Thank you to each and everyone here in Huntsville Attic. Uh, And as usual, we're going to start off with our shot of the show. First shot. shot. shot, shot, And this is a shot we recently discovered in Atlanta. It's called a Whippet. It's got coffee, energy, and vodka. It's very good. Why not? Uh, Holler, everybody. It's made with Why Not? Find it online. Order it. They don't sell it here, unfortunately. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Yeah, that's that's way better than the Starbucks. All right. Well, everybody, the uh, topic of the night is spirits. That's right. All things spirits. So, speaking of spirits, it is around Halloween time, so that's why I picked spirits. So, opening discussion, everybody. Starting with Delicious Dingus, what is your favorite liquor? Probably a Sailor Jerry's rum. Sailor Jerry's Rum. That's good stuff. Yes, that's some good stuff, Dingus. Uh, yeah. Me and have... you had a night with oh, Sailor yeah. Jerry's Rum. We had yeah. a night. I had watched you, you had have a night, night with that's Sailor Jerry's Rum. <laughs> <laughs> that's very, very good. Anyway, uh, Maniacal good Mike, your favorite liquor, please. Mm. Wow, it's a hard one. Uh, let's go any mini money mo with... Fuck. Galliano. I'm drawing a blank. I'm sorry. Totally he also works at a bar. Yes, that's indeed. why. It's, that's yeah. why it's so hard because there's so many different things that I try. Every he night wants and some bandies. Uh, I would have to go with the old fashioned and the original Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark, Ooh. excellent. Mike's excellent. making his mark. Absolutely. Uh, Jumping and jiving, Jane's favorite liquor. Please. The first whiskey I ever had. One of my favorite things to drink is actually. It might sound a little weird, you guys, but uh, limoncello. Limoncello. <laughs> 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 that guy, that's good. By the way, if anybody needs to know anything about Jumping and Jiving James, that is to know this. If there yes. is a girl in his life, he is yes. making limoncello every limoncello, goddamn bitch. day. I yeah. promise you. Kinky Kevin, favorite liquor? Well, I would have to say it's got to be tequila. Tequila. Yes. It, it was hard to pick between that and whiskey, but uh, I'm part Mexican, I, I hear. so. That's nice. I had a uh, discussion with Kinky Kevin earlier about what would possibly be mine as an outside viewer observing my habits, what he thought, and we agreed that rum in general is one of my favorite liquors, including, including Sailor Jerry's I thought, we uh, agreed regular was, I thought we agreed it was triple sec. <laughs> <laughs> no. or the only person I've ever seen drink that stuff straight would be you, you Kevin. Ah, uh, well, uh, that's got hey. alcohol in it. All right, it's got so alcohol in it. You can. Well, we talked a little bit about liquor, of course. So uh, now everybody's understanding what we mean when we say it's our spirits episode. So that brings us to our very first local ghost story. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Whoa. Kiki Kevin will bring us a small report on Hell's Gates here on Green Mountain in yeah. town. Kinky Kevin, take it away. When, when do I have to do that? Right now. Oh, oh this shit. is the time now. So there's this Indeed. place in Alabama. It's uh, Oxford, Alabama. Actually, also uh, Green Mountain, also Huntsville. It's in four different places at once. Um, but Sounds very creepy. The story about this place is that um, there's these pair of iron gates, which if you've seen a picture of it, they look pretty stupid. Look it up. You know, look it up on the great Google 
um, or Wikipedia or what the fuck ever. The point is, there's these black iron gates, and the uh, story goes that a pair of lovers, star-crossed lovers, lost their lives on this bridge. It's actually, there's a pair of gates leading down to a mansion, but there's this bridge that supposedly one of four things happens on. One, you get out of your car, park the car on the bridge, get out of your car, and a wet spot appears on the seat. Now, I'm guessing that's just fog and condensation, but whatever. Uh, if you turn around on the bridge and look back at it, it uh, most of the stories say that it looks like Hell's Gate's on fire. Uh, third story is if you head down towards the, the uh, mansion, a car will come and run you off the road and then disappear. That is the story I've heard um, the most. The fourth tale that I found out earlier today was that uh, you can quite often hear, locals will tell you that you can hear uh, whispers and screams and chanting coming from the mansion, which I cannot find anything about on the internet. That I can't sounds find very, pictures. very scary. That, uh, that have we found that, anything yeah. like that, pictures of the mansion nothing. or possibly... It, it's like the mansion isn't really there. And any idea? Big, have anybody have any idea of how we yeah. could find out who owns the land? I don't know, because I want to go and, and find out. Well, we can so also sit there and check tax records. Yeah, that, check tax gonna records. That. Really? We're going to get our research and development team on All this. right, definitely. Uh, if Kinky Kevin and Delicious Dingus are down for it, I think they should check the records and see if we can find out who owns this land. Well, I think because I know I'm not necessarily believing in a ghost car, but <coughs> right, I do believe right, in right. a crazy person that wants to drive people off their land, off their, right? Exactly. I mean, That's yeah. what I believe. Yeah, see, but I would get up and be confrontational. It might in, in, entail a closer look, might be. No, yeah, we're, we're going to go talk. So that's nice. Well, speaking out. of Hell's Gates and possible right. paranormal activity, uh, let's get into our first topic. Let's get into, as Mike would say, the meat of the matter. The meat. Um, meat. Meat. Do you believe in or ghosts? I mean, do drink? you believe in, in the paranormal? I mean, I mean, I want to know what everybody here thinks, actually, about it. So jumping and jiving, James, do you believe in ghosts? I do not believe in ghosts. You do not. I do believe that places can just have a creep factor to them. Okay. It, so I, because you know. of what has happened there, possibly? Sometimes, like yeah, because, I mean, energy you know, imprint time is not always exactly what we think it is, you know? So Smart man says that, actually. Delicious dingus. You, uh, you believe in ghosts? No, I do not. No, not at all? Not at all. What do you, what do you think? Do you think people are crazy when they talk about people... Uh, hauntings and, and, and experiences. Oh, and yeah. Stuff. I mean, humans in general need to have some sort of... They have to know, you know, things they cannot explain. All right. Therefore, we have to make our own. That makes sense. Kind Maniacal like Mike, uh, leading right into you, you had something to say. Plus, do you believe in ghosts and the paranormal, sir? Yes, I believe in ghosts. Really? Yes, very much so. Have you had an experience? Yes, I've had. What happened? Uh, in 1997, I was at a house in Florence. It sits way up the top of a hill. Uh, there's a backstory to it, but the mere fact, I'll run it down real quick. Somebody died in, uh, on the street. Uh, the house caught on fire. Uh, somehow this girl magically appeared and warned the residents of the house. Um, then the house. You were there. You were witness to No, that. I was not witness to this. This was uh, the fraternity that was in this house at the time. They moved to a new house. Actually, they built a new house way up on top of a hill. Uh, ghost followed. And I was just like, yeah, ha, ha, funny ghost, ghost. Yeah, and her name is Molly. Uh, the Hall the day after the Halloween party, I left, had the Halloween night early because I knew we had a shit ton of cleaning up to do. Just went home, went to bed early, went downstairs, got to the house, went downstairs. All the lights had been busted out. Somebody thought it'd be cool to bust out all the lights. We also had the whole entire house wrapped in black tarp, uh, inside and outside, so you can't see a damn thing. So I go down the stairs and I'm like, wait a minute, uh, the is everything's locked. I started tearing down the tarp to find the, the light in the closet to the stereo. Uh, when I'm trying to find the doorknob, this white thing just kind of walks out. Kind of looks like my friend Becky. I'm like, Becky, and then she doesn't respond. She keeps walking right in front of me. I swing at it. She just looks at me and goes into the pool room. So, like, from enters, I lock the door. And you're saying that is an apparition that you yes. saw. And that was, that's supposed to be Molly the ghost from the old house that moved to the new house. Interesting. Very huh. interesting, so, Mike. So, so they took everything with them then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. yep. Kinky Kevin, you believe in ghosts? Well, I, I'd say my the, the 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 verdict is still out on that, but um, I I was raised very religiously, and the, it's in my nature to believe in spiritual things. Um, I I have had an experience. Don't want to get into it right now, but I you believe, have had I an be, experience. I believe in things that are like okay. For example, ghosts. I I, I know enough to be stupid and ignorant when it comes to you know uh, f physics and, and things like that 
but uh, I know that that images can reappear based on you know curvature of the Earth and the way light refracts and all that shit and the way time is. So I know there's there's scientific explanations for a lot of the shit that happens, but uh, I choose to keep my mind open and, and see. Very nicely put. Awesome. <laughs> uh, me personally, you just blew my mind. me personally, I, I I don't know to be honest. I don't know if I believe in ghosts or not. I I like to lean towards that I don't. I think that. I'm an also a, a very spiritual person, but I'm also a very scientific person. I, I believe in science. I also believe, without getting too much into it, that all time and space exists at the exact same time. Every moment that's ever happened right. is existing right now. So every moment that ever happened in this space it is happening. Yeah. So every once in a while, something might happen, whether, as Kevin would say, based on the curvature of the Earth or the <laughs> refraction of light. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> something happens Whatever. where we can glimpse through to see something else, possibly. I don't know. So you're very uh, rational about things. I almost want to, I want to believe. Uh, so we've been talking about ghosts, <laughs> the paranormal, spooky stuff. It is the spirits episode. And in the spirit of spirits, it's time for the question of the day. Okay. This is related to what we've been talking about. If, and think about this, this is very serious. Okay. If you were a mixed drink, right. a cocktail, if you will. Does that include, like, shot? Whatever sure. you want to be. Okay. If you okay. were a mixed drink or shot, what would you be? We will answer that coming back right after the break. Okay. This break, of course, as always, brought to you by Corn Bits. He's got the Corn, corn bits. bits. Yeah. He's got the corn bits, 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 yeah. Who couldn't use more corn in their diet? Try our crisp and refreshing cereal, corn bits. They're fun to play with and they taste delicious. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rockin' with Rockin' Robbie. This is our All Things Spirit episode. Of course, I am Rockin' with Ooh. I am Rockin' Robbie here on Rockin' with Rockin' Robbie. What? And of course, Jumpin' Jobbin' James, Maniacal Mike, Delicious Dingus, Kinky Kevin. We're all with us. And now, we're all with another us. whip it. We're all, all with us. us. We are drunk. I've got a little bit. Whip yeah. it. Whip it good. Robbie's made us do 37 <laughs> shots. What did we do on the break, everybody? Can you guess? So, we ended the uh, last segment with the question of the day, which, of course, so is if you were a ice. mixed drink or a cocktail or shot, if you will, uh, what breeze. would you be? Maniacal Mike, <laughs> what would you be? I'd be an Irish car bomb. That makes perfect sense. Oh. Mike, tell everybody about the Mike Matthews Irish car bomb special. The Mike Irish stuff. Uh, oh, the picture. The Mike Irish. The Mike, Mike Irish, Irish Matthews special. My white Irish ass. <laughs> I think we need another oh. shot. Okay, the Mike Matthews Irish car bomb. Is a pitcher of Guinness followed by a rocks glass of Bailey's and Bushmills well, and yes. or Jameson. Did you say a picture a of Guinness? Pitcher. A pitcher. I know. I know. Like a truss in a truck. You know, Apparently like Mike claims that he can actually game. do it. Right. I did a Fuck. Irish car bomb in a pitcher. Fuck that. Could Ooh. you do it today? I should sure I could. Well, maybe one day we will challenge you to do it. <laughs> Delicious Dingus, what is, if you were a mixed drink, what would you be? Vodka Red Bull. Why vodka Red Bull? Because I personally like it. Because you personally like yeah. it. Is it because you are a smooth yet cold and dry person? However, at the same time, very rambunctious and pent up and energetic. Sure. I think. <laughs> All right. That's it. <laughs> <good. laughs> Everybody, right? Yes. Yes. Is it? <laughs> is For two hundred dollars. Jumping and driving, James. If you were a mixed drink, the daily what double. Would you be? I would have to say I would be. A white Russian. Oh, like the dude. Dude, yep. there's a fucking I'm, beverage here, man. Yes, exactly. I'm smooth and classic, man. Oh, smooth oh. and classic and uh, oh. very, very dangerous, oh. if I might add as well. <laughs> Too much uh, 
white Russian and you're in trouble for the night. And just like Caucasian too much guy. jumping and yeah. jiving, James. Yeah, Kinky, uh, Kevin, up. your, uh, your answer, please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everyone thought it would be a gin and tonic. It's a good drink. But it's a Sazerac. <laughs> no the fuck is a Sazerac? A Sazer- yeah. Whoa, dude, I, you I just not. Can you get no, that? Hold on, not hold, that classy, hold on, sir. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I just You're not rec- an, like an English gentleman. I or just recently, yeah. it's French. I just recently learned. No, it's not French. It's, oh, it's, it's, fr- it's actually a local classic. Oh, Gambi, mon ami. Oh, you oh, listen to me. me. The oh. Sazerac is a drink uh, local to New Orleans, and it is usually oh, rye oui. or oh. it is usually rye or okay, whiskey dog. based. Uh huh. Made with an absinthe Luca. bath. Absinthe. When absinthe was the last bath. time you had absinthe? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> that was two weeks ago. Uh, bitters and uh, no, in, uh, t- in my case. In yeah, my actually, case. I got absinthe a quick question. is now legal again. Yeah. So, so, but it's yeah. not. It's not the same. It's not your grandfather's absinthe. No, now. no. But the no, funny no, thing no. about uh, since we're on spirits, you can still get that though. I've never tried it. I still didn't finish my. Okay, I've had. Well, it. I, I, I got a, it doesn't really matter. I got a no. Oh, oh man, fuck <laughs> off and Kevin, die. If I was a mixed drink, I would probably be a Tom Collins. That's because I not look as fruity you. as I look on the outside. No matter and what it is, bullshit. That's a great drink. That brings us to our next local ghost story. How does that go? Yeah, where does, where, where does Ladies and gentlemen, now it is by jumping and jiving, James. Here comes the legend. The of Huntsville Sleepy legend Hollywood. of Sally Carter. Go, wow. James. It's your birthday. We're going to party like, like it's, it's your birthday. birthday. All right, so. Sip the party. The haunting that is Sally Carter starts with Cedarhurst Mansion, which was built in uh, 1823 by Stephen Ewing. Now closed off to the public, unfortunately. Correct. It is now part of like a it's kind of crazy housing development or something like that. Oh. Um, still preserved. Correct. So, I will yeah. let you continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Damn right. The I'm story master. starts Ooh, with Sally oh. Carter coming to visit her sister, who now is married to Stephen Ewing and lives there. Any relation and to Patrick Ewing? I do not believe so. Okay. She comes down to visit her sister at the house and is there for you know a couple weeks and then gets really sick. And passes away, unfortunately. And so then after that, you know, the, the legend starts to build. Small things like people's jewelry missing or falling off their body, breaking near that room where she died. Um, you know, doors opening and closing, that kind of stuff. And then it gets a nice, really big build up on the story. In 1919, a uh, 17-year-old bo- boy traveling through the area sleeps outside of the room. And there's a really crazy storm outside that night lightning thunder strong winds he has a dream during that storm that night where sally comes and talks to him and and says would you really please go fix my headstone it's toppled over the next day he tells everybody the story and then proceeds to go out to where she's buried and visits her plot and indeed her stone had been knocked over during the night. I th- I'm sure everybody here in Huntsville Attic has heard the story many times. They relocated her body. Yeah, 1982. And some people say that when they checked it out, the coffin was actually empty. Indeed. Oh. So where indeed does she rest? Supposedly, maybe an unmarked grave in Maple Hill Post Cemetery. Or, or she's chilling with or, Tupac. Or. Still at Cedarhurst Mansion. Uh, Correct. Which is now closed off to the public. Her room is now an office. I've actually read something saying that the room is actually still preserved. Still preserved. The way nice, it was. Nice. But they don't want people coming to it. It but is. But they saved it. In all of North Alabama oh. paranormal stories, it is the most famous, but the most elusive. Because no one can get access there anymore. Correct. No investigative team can get access it would be really hard to investigate the legend of Sally Carter. Sally you Carter could. is such a Huntsville legend. I want you, the viewer, right now, the listener, to go to our Facebook page, go to our website, let us know what you know about the Sally Carter legend. That obviously brings us to the, our next topic of conversation, which is one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, drinking! Yeah. Well, if we can't talk about spirits yeah. without drinking. So I just want to briefly... Uh, not so briefly. Talk to you guys right up, now man. about drinking. 
Any crazy drink stories, anybody? Who yes. wants to go first? My really, Niacal Mike, tell me. So uh, we went to see me and two friends. Actually, me and a friend and a f- friend of a friend. Thank you. Uh, went to see the Batman Marathon. Uh, Dark Knight Aww. Rises. Robbie does a great impression of Bane. He did it for like two months and it killed everybody. It does not matter who we are. The uh, it matters all planned. The ma- it was the marathon, and we watched all no three Batman. Shut up! And uh, God damn, I, he loves that shit. <laughs> 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 the uh, so we we the first one, and it's just like fuck. We got nine hours of Batman to watch. Uh, we're in a theater that serves alcohol, so of course we drink uh, Jamesons and beers all night. Uh, it's the second one. Joker makes his uh, appearance. Let me show you a magic trick. It's <laughs> gone. And then, but da, 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 hey, it's gone. Everybody in the crowd is laughing. Uh, my friend is laughing. Uh, the friend of a friend is laughing. <laughs> he starts laughing so hard that he projectile vomits <laughs> on top of, in front of the people in front of him. Oh. And it is, it is oh. bad. I mean, so, it is just like so the nonstop. Everybody uh, around us is like ready to throw down and. And except for the people in front of us, the lady's in tears because she's got puke all over. Wow. Oh, How many I mean, people in total got puked on? Three. Wow. Nice. Yeah. That is a, a good trifecta. So this story. is like the ultimate bad version of Chunk's story yeah. from yes. uh, the yeah. Goonies. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious dingus. I believe I remember, I remember a, a story I heard recently about wanting to puke in someone's decorative... Decorative, oh. yes. Tell me briefly, what is up with that, Dingus? Okay. Well, Fuck your bowl. After about what four vodka Red Bulls and about eight shots of Sailor Jerry. You do Jerry's. love those vodka Red Bulls and Sailor Jerry. Oh, yeah, Sailor Jerry and, Red and vodka? Yeah. Oh, boy. So, last thing I remember was dancing with this girl with a strobe light in the kitchen. Next morning, I wake up shirtless. It was like the hangover part yeah. three. Yeah. Mike likes the idea of shirtless and delicious dingus. If you're shirtless, you're not seeing the abs on this. Hold hold on, hold on. Holy shit. Hold on. If you're shirtless. I'm bringing sexy bags. What led up to this dingus? In a hangover fashion, I'm sure you had to piece together what happened throughout the night. Briefly, give us the highlights. Okay. Well. Give us the ESPN top ten. Top ten? Top five. Um, Top three. Talk about my ex three times. Every time they would tell me something, I would shake their hand and be... And say, thanks for being real with me. <laughs> thanks for being real with me. Right. About 15 times each time we went what out. What happens when people stop being polite and stop start getting being real? real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then proceeded to dance. And then puke. I literally picked up the folds of the couch <laughs> and puked inside of the couch. You puked in Cherry's mouth? Oh, <laughs> oh man. We're never welcome back. Where, where, was, this? where was this? Yes. Where was this? Where was this? Where was this? Is that one of my friends' houses? They were house sitting. <laughs> oh, it wasn't house even. Yeah, it's even better. It was. A, it was a friend of a friend's house. Yes. And 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 did you just wipe the puke under the rug? Basically? No, I proceeded to puke on the couch. No, I know. Face first into into the puke. My friend comes over. She's like, James, you don't need to lay in your vomit. She, I'm like. But I want to lay in my puke. Dude, that is being real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, but I want to lay in my puke and then go face first. Back in the vomit. But then the bowl, then another bowl, and then I walked up, yanked a decorative plate off the wall, started walking <laughs> it around. It wasn't Star with Trek, it. was it? No. And then I'm like, that I'm gonna puke in this. Good. They're like, No, you're not. And then they yanked the plate out of my hands. They're trying to get my shirt off of me because I puked all over it. Hey, I'm literally that. punching them in the face. I'm like, No, no, no. And that's. Pretty much the highlight. <laughs> Delicious dingus. I don't think anybody can cop that. Kinky Kevin. I don't think anybody can top that. Kinky Kevin. Try. Real quick. Briefly. 20 All seconds. Right. Uh, 20 seconds. Yeah, I get 20 seconds. All right. One, uh, two, So basically, three, that, da, helps. Da, that helps. Da, da, that really helps. Da, 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 uh, da, da, my, my, my friend was a bartender down in Lake Worth, Florida. Uh, it was his 21st birthday and another friend of mine 21st birthday. Uh, I guess for some stupid reason, I decided I'd try to show them how to do it. Anyways. Uh, to keep it short, over over the night, over the night, I drank uh, far too much for. Uh, James, have you ever had a drunk story that you want to share with us tonight? 
Damn no. <laughs> really? Because no, no, no. I remember a night that I came home and wow. there was a DVD wow. case wow. belonging to James completely wow. wrecked on the floor. Wow. I lift it up and there is James's pants wow. and fucking wow. underwear there. I thought the wow. reverse rapture had happened. I'm or something. That, I didn't know what was up. I'm man. the one that James, actually dealt with Do you remember that. that one? Okay, so I, are you serious? Is this I, 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 who's what? I I do kind of remember a night getting a little, little bit drunk. Um, <laughs> Must have been a very interesting night for James. Of course, no one has dirt on me, so I've never had a really super crazy drinking story. So we'll just go ahead. Bullshit. Um, Do you you remember just like a couple weeks ago? What are you talking about? I don't know. Maybe what are you you talking about? Chip to the ATL. Uh, What happened to ATL? I don't remember. Everybody's doing shots, and then James like, "Where's Robbie?" Robbie. And it's just like, I don't know where Robbie is. I told y'all where I was going. He went up to the room. He walked around. He couldn't find you. But, you know, obviously you had fun with some gay Mexicans. Oh, well, the gay Mexicans happened while I was with y'all, so don't act like you weren't a part of that. Moving on, everybody. It's time for our next local ghost story. And another drunk story about Robbie real quick. His birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, the rocking chair lady in Maple Hill Cemetery by rocking Robbie myself. Okay. An old lady dies. She's put in her family crypt in a mausoleum. Uh, apparently, they bury her with her favorite rocking chair. To this day, apparently, you can go to this mausoleum and hear the rocking chair. That's the Maple Hill Cemetery. That is the legend. That sounds very interesting. I tried to do some research on where this mausoleum is to see if we could possibly go there and check it out. I cannot find where the mausoleum is, supposedly. However, I found a very interesting story about the daughter-in-law of Alabama's very own first governor. It seems that the wife of William D. Bibb, who was the son of our first governor here in Alabama, was Mary S. Bibb. And she died because her nanny, quote unquote, accidentally poisoned her when she was trying to give her medicine. That sounds creepy, notorious, and evil, whatever. We can move on. Legend has it, she was buried with her favorite rocking chair in what happens to be the very first mausoleum in Maple Hill Cemetery. Hmm. So the that very is first crazy. So of the cemetery, huh? There is no exact location known for the rocking chair mausoleum. However, mm-hmm. if the connection between these two stories is right, Mary S. Bibb may ex- <laughs> actually be <laughs> the rocking chair <laughs> woman, and we can find <laughs> her family <laughs> crypt <laughs> and check that <laughs> out at a later date. That's kind of a creepy <laughs> story, though. And <laughs> many <Yeah>. eyewitness accounts. <laughs> this happens during the day, at night, almost <laughs> any time. How can something like that actually happen without a lot of public hmm. record about it? I don't know. Any thoughts? It's a government conspiracy to keep us blinded. That totally makes sense, Maniacal Mike. Thank and speaking of, of government conspiracies to keep us blinded, that brings us to the thought of the day, brought to us by one of my very favorite personal heroes and idols. Ladies and gentlemen. Genghis Khan? They called him Frank Sinatra. This is his quote, and we're going to oh, take a break yeah. right after it. Actually going to have some music by some good friends of ours, Flux Capacitor Overdrive. Uh, Haven't really really said it yet much on this show, but they are the providers of our theme song, which is Thanatos. Uh, Check them out. They're great. Flux Capacitor Overdrive, along with uh, Anchor Thieves. Yes. Two bands that we really support, along with a lot of other local and regional bands. However. I believe in hot pants. The Thought for the Day. Woo! By Frank Sinatra. I feel sorry for people who don't drink. When they wake up in the morning, that's as good as they're going to feel all day. We'll be right back after this song from Flux Capacitor Overdrive. Holler.
Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rockin' with Rock and Robbie show. Of course yeah! that Woo! Of course that was Flux Capacitor Overdrive, a great local band. You should check them out. They play almost every week here. Uh, look them up, Valley Planet, holler. Anyway, Spirits. Holler. Name holler. of the game tonight, which brings us to our very next local ghost story. Ooh. But before that, of course, our next shot. It's the white chocolate whip it, everybody. Holler. Oh, yay. Holler. 22. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, now Delicious Dingus will bring us Dead Children's Playground. Delicious Dingus. DCP. This is another one next to Maple Hill Cemetery. There's actually a playground right next to it. Maple Hill Park was actually founded in 1822, and it's the oldest and largest cemetery in Alabama. As to the haunting at the playground, some people say it's the spirits of children buried in the cemetery coming out to play. Sounds like you're doing an oral report. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Sorry, go ahead. Ghost but other legends tell us that around 1960, multiple children were, ab were abducted and their bodies were found at the playground. Yes, that Isn't is not that, that yeah. That's creepy. bad. That's yeah. creepy. That's kind of messed up. The phenomenon happens from around 10 p.m. to around 3 a.m. It's the best time to go if you want to see anything. Watch out for Mr. Fox. Um, some people have seen what, swings cuss? moving by themselves, sightings of ghosts, sounds of laughter and children calling out like uh, each other's name. That's eerie. And also, whenever people take pictures, they see the orbs, like the yes. orbs of light. Yeah, and I've that's that. believed to be like spirits. Yeah. I've went there myself around that time. I mean, I've seen the swings. I believe everybody here is like actually, that. this is the I one place everybody everyone. in this room has actually visited. Right? You are correct, sir. Yeah. 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 Kevin, yeah. have you been? Oh, man, I've been there and I've seen children. I've seen swings Plane. move. No, Anything just, else, uh, dingus? Just children. I mean, that's about all I could. I mean, that's the basics of it. That was a very good report. Well, a think, shot. Yeah. Here's to doing shots without Kiki well, Kevin. Uh, shots without Kiki uh, Kevin. Yeah. He's been complaining. Ah. Well, it tastes so much better without him. Yes. Dead, Dead Children's Playground is a Apparently they're, 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 very famous place locally. Sightings too of a crazy naked man that hangs out up there. That's me. Well, that's just yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just, just Kinky, Kinky Kevin. Kevin. That's a regular yeah. Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. All right, that brings us to our next. Give me topic. a case of Natty Ice. <laughs> Paranormal oh, TV reality shows. Yeah. Anybody watch these things? No. You Kate. don't watch them at My all. My grandmother no. does. I've seen them with you a few times. Burn. They're, they're pretty yeah. stupid. Well, that's Occasionally, I, you know, I, I watch them with I'm Robbie personally sometimes. addicted. Yeah, I am addicted personally to, uh, it used to be Paranormal State, but of course, it's Ghost Adventures. I, Ghost okay. Adventures is incredibly funny to me. It I is. Think they that get some is ridiculous. It is awesome. funny. I think they get some compelling evidence. Zach cracks me up. So does Aaron and Nick. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I love so those guys. Works I'm out friends with them all on Facebook. You know, we, we, we're, we're talking about getting coffee sometimes. Yeah, but, you do that, uh, man. Yeah, I, I, Ghost Adventures cracks me up. Paranormal State, to me, though, it, is the realest and the most serious. Because these people aren't there to get evidence. They're there to help people. It's scripted. I don't believe or Paranormal is State is. It's all scripted. Dude. I don't believe so. This show all is reality scripted. TV is scripted. It's very scripted. <laughs> Podcast scripted. scripted. Mike's life point. is scripted. Very much so. <laughs> My, you're a complete skeptical. You don't watch these shows. You you think they're because stupid. it's scripted. Scripted. I've been in the news business. It's all fucking scripted. Mike buying people coffee that run cameras. Oh, that no, 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 no. <laughs> Channel is not. Right, so Monster out, Energy man. drinks for my director. Now shut up. I know I left the show twice. So anyway, yeah, times, I know maybe. that it's scripted to a point, but some of these people really believe. I just paranormal state. They were helping people more so than trying to be. Okay. You know, finding evidence, yeah, trying to be money. sensational. Moving on, it's our last and final oh, local ghost colors. story. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, last but certainly never least and loudest, Maniacal Mike brings us the legend of Crybaby Hollow in what, Decatur or Malton? Uh, it's somewhere in the Decatur, Malton, the Carcel area. Alrighty, it's go ahead. The Dalton area. Random bridge. Uh, have not been able to locate it. I haven't found. There, I'm sure there's information, but I really didn't try. Who cares? Uh, the mere fact that it was some lady was so angry at her baby that she threw her off the bridge. Oh. And oh, this is kind of like the lady in white story. Very, yeah. I mean, they they say that you know you can go lady out to this bridge. And you can hear like babies crying or baby laughter. That's not or, cool. And, I, I've and then heard if you that park, you, the, yeah, the park the car. You park the nice. car, and then it, you get uh, yep. handprints on the bumper and in the glass. 
And then if you leave a candy bar, <laughs> you know, out by the bridge, that it'll get any type of candy, really, it gets taken. Well, no um, shit, right? I personally yeah. done that. I, I, I think it's... I think it's obviously You've done Cry Baby yes. Hollow? I Obvi- have. Obviously so where it's, happened? it's a troll. Basically, you just... We sit there and set well, the well, no, car. Where is it, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's something about My the car drove. gets moved. You sit there and you put it in neutral, and we just sat there for a minute. And then about 15, 16 seconds later, the car just starts rolling backwards. Yeah. Away from the bridge. Away, yep. All right, yes. Anyway. So, Mike, basically what you're saying is, I think basically what we're all saying is this story, especially out of this every bullshit. local ghost story, is bullshit. Because bullshit. if you ever Indeed. heard uh, coyotes at, at fucking night, they sound like babies crying and baby yep. laughter. Yeah. So there's your coyotes. Uh, so do oil, babies. Oil, <laughs> oil on your hands cause the fingerprints. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure some type of gravity and physics shit. Yeah, it's um, like mystery. Causes hell. the car to move. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Uh, or everywhere. it might be a sl- it might be on a t- on a, a classical of a physics can yeah. take care of that. You don't so even need classical, fucking yeah. quantum mechanics on you that. You have this myth and, and a fucking raccoon that dingus saw. I don't think, this, I don't think this myth is quite busted yet, but Mike, yeah. I think you have a solution. Is Valid it awesome? Yeah, I, I'm gonna call. Uh, we've discussed this, and uh, you kind of said it's time. It's time. I, I I'm calling Robbie Robbie Billups out, and because he said he's. Kind of afraid to go to some of these places. I am absolutely. Oh, Total Hell's Gate. No, Hell's Gate. No, nothing. Uh, Hell's Gate especially scares it. me. I'm gonna do I'll it. call you out. I said we go investigate this shit. Oh, really? Yeah. So, <laughs> are we gonna like form like a group or a society? Or well, something I have an this? announcement no, to make. No, Mine, I mean, That would be. I dumb. accept your uh, fucking yeah. challenge. In fact, right now I officially announce here on Smiler Else here wait, in wait, Huntsville Attic. What's going on? I'm uh, announcing. What's going on? Is Jelani coming with us? The official. Wait, announcement. Wait. We are doing it. We're investigating paranormal activities locally in North Alabama. We have started, Ooh. are starting a group. Let us know if you want to be a part of it. We're starting a group called HARP. HARP. Huntsville, Alabama. Research of the paranormal. Mm. That's potatoes. right. Right now, you go to the ah. website, you check it out. It's up there. It's paranormal on. Paranormal potatoes. A few short months from now, we're going to do what? it. And guess what, Mike? Guess what's going to be our very first investigation? Cry Baby Hollow. Ladies and gentlemen. Pop! Right As always, it's been a pleasure pop, here pop. performing to you from Huntsville Attic. Ladies and gentlemen, with me is Maniacal Mike. Yeah, what's up, host? Delicious Dingus. Yeah. Jumping and Jiving James. Good day to you, sir. Kinky Kingster Kevin. Suck it. And I, of course, am rocking with Rock and Robbie. Indeed. I am Rock and Robbie. Uh, been drinking a little bit. Try the whip it. Check out our website. Harp's coming. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to check out the Smile or Else show next week. It is time for the Halloween horror special. That's right. We're going to be talking about our favorite horror movies, right, Mike? Yeah, we're going to be doing some horror movies and uh, get some trivia questions about all horror right. movies and uh, everything and all things horror. And, of course, oh, the week oh, after that, here on Rockin' with Rockin' Robbie, two weeks from today, Haunted Halloween Spooktacular Special, our first annual, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. We talk about the movies on Mike's show. We're going to talk about the joy and memories and legends of Halloween on our show. So be with us for the next two weeks as we celebrate our favorite holiday here in Huntsville Attic, Halloween. Halloween. Speaking for everybody, thanks for joining us. Thanks for rocking with me. Peace out. I'm rocking with Rockin' Robbie. Ha ha. (laughs) 